Hello friends, welcome you all. Today we are going to discuss about the short and introductory part of the rheology which is comes, comes under the physical pharmaceutics. Rio means, it is a Greek word, Rio means to flow and logos means the science. So therefore the rheology means it is a science that concerned with the deformation of the solid and the flow of the liquid. The scientist Bingham and Crawford Firstly, the term was coined for the flow of liquid and the deformation of the solid. What is deformation? The deformation means the change in a matter in shape or volume or both under the influence of the stress which is perpendicular to the surface of the body. This is the deformation. And deformation can be of two types, elastic and the plastic. What is elastic? Elastic is a reversible deformation. Reversible means uh, this can retain its original state after removing the stress, after removing the force, you can say. In plastic, it is a permanent deformation, means it does not retain its original position after removing the stress. This is a plastic deformation. Viscosity is also one of the important fluid property in fluid dynamics. So therefore, the Isaac Newtons the classified the two types of the fluids in the rheology, first of all, it is a Newtonian fluid and non-Newtonian fluid. But before we are going to start this type of fluid, we should know the Newton's law of the flow. According to Newton's law, the force per unit area means the shear stress is directly proportional to the rate of shear. As viscosity greater or increases, the shear stress also increases. So therefore, it is a directly proportional. The shear stress is denoted by the F and the rate of shear is denoted as a G. And though both these terms are directly proportional. So therefore F is directly proportional to G. So therefore we can remove this uh, proportionality sign. F is equal to the eta into G. Eta is nothing but the viscosity. Uh, okay, this is the Newton's law of the flow. Those fluids which obeys this law is called it as the Newtonian fluids. And those fluids which does not obey this law, it called it as a non-Newtonian fluids. Example of Newtonian fluids, this is a water and organic solvents. Example of non-Newtonian fluids is the emulsion, suspension and colors, ointments, likewise. That means in Newtonian fluids, the viscosity does not change after the application of the force. And non-Newtonian fluids, the viscosity changed by the application of the force. Okay. After that, the non-Newtonian fluid again the classified into the two basically two parameters: time independent and time dependent. In that time independent, again it, it has a three subclasses or three types of flow: plastic flow, pseudoplastic flow, and dilatant flow. While in time dependent, Thixotropy and rheopexy. The rheology <coughs> is applicable for the blood viscosity, also in the formulation of the immersion suspension suppositories, also in the formulation of the medicinal and cosmetical product like cream, paste, and lotions. These are the some applications and the importance of the rheology. Hope you understand this video. These are all are the introductory part of the rheology which is useful in the physical pharmaceutics subject. Thank you. Thank you all of you.